point of view, it's a great organisation. It's, it's marvellous to be part of it. I am a life member, and now to be the patron and to follow on from such two prestigious patrons that have been here and before me is, is tremendous because I've admired Sir Wilson over the years. I still often refer to him as the greatest captain New Zealand's ever had. And I think some of the modern people tell me differently, but uh, I stick to my guns. He was always a leader. He was a great help to me. We both came, we first came together, we went to Salon in 1955 together in Colston. Then we became All Blacks together and we went right through Willie's career. I carried on quite a while after him. But Wilson was always an inspiration to all those around him. Great inspiration to me and I can recall some occasions on the football field where he had to have words. Wow. It's in 1961 and I'm sure it was Oakey Little had been head high tackled with a stiff arm and there was a bit of a raucous afterwards and I was going to kill some Frenchman. And Winneray dragged me out of it and about two minutes later I got a try and he said, that's better than bloody knocking their head off. <laughs> and I thought, oh, very good. <laughs> and he said, that hurts them more than, you know, physically. So he was a great inspiration to me. He helped me. I was the country boy. He was the experienced player. We, uh, we went to Salon, we were billeted there, we travelled by boat, it was a marvellous tour. And we were lucky enough to come on through and be the right age at the right time to get in as young All Blacks into the 57 team to go to Australia. And Wilson had one year on that tour and Ponty Reid was the captain and Wilson was the captain in 58, right through to when he retired, apart from one year off. So he was a great inspiration, a great fella, and if I can be as good to the foundation and as good to rugby as what Willie was, I'd be terribly proud of him. Um, just looking around the room, it's, it's great uh, from my perspective to see uh, the people who are involved uh, with the foundation. You, uh, Sir John and uh, Sir Colin, congratulations. Uh, Pine Tree on, on your new appointment. Uh, my great um, coaching buddy, uh, Morris Trapp, we spent many uh, times together. Uh, my old mate, Tani Norton, in front of me here, and, and so many others, Walker Nathan, over here. It is inspirational uh, to have you people involved in these sorts of roles. So I really want to uh, say what an inspiration it is to me, and, and to thank you all sincerely uh, for the job that you do. Uh, to the VIPs, Grant, and, and all your families, you know, can I say that our hearts really do go out to you, and um, I had the great pleasure of being at the uh, Wellington Sevens and spending time uh, with you all this year, and it really was an inspiration to me uh, just to see how you went about your business and, and the great um, joy and, and the way you interacted with each other. Uh, it was really, really special to see. So, Just, just briefly, in terms of injuries, the, the prevention work is great and Peter Ross Nicholson here is surgically looked after me, so I've got to be careful what I say. Um, you know, we play a, a, a contact sport, and unfortunately, sometimes things will go pear-shaped. It's just the way of life. But it's great that there are initiatives there to make it as safe as possible. And, and that's all we can do, really. So, um, I'm not sure that's a positive note, but... I just want to conclude by saying thank you. It's great to be here on behalf of all of the injured players. We uh, it's going to be part of the family. Thanks. <laughs>